Manchester United lose their third game in four against Aston Villa, going down 1-0. And Olga, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is grumpy. Gab, did he have a point to be grumpy for? I think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer needs to be a little bit careful. Okay, it's three defeats in four, but again, let's always look more closely. Against young boys, yes, you were absolutely terrible. You were down to 10 men and you had no game plan for that and you were terrible. Fine. But then the other, the other defeats... Um, West Ham in the League Cup. West Ham in the League Cup is absolutely irrelevant because that wasn't United and was West Ham. Those were a bunch of other dudes. You beat you against West Ham in the league. I think you could have you could have even scored more. You had legitimate claims about those penalties. What I don't like here is like two things got him annoyed, right? One is Bruno Fernandez missing that that penalty at the end. And he was complaining that it took so long for him to take the penalty because of the players were crowding the referee and arguing, blah blah blah. But then he says, "Well, but I don't think it got into Bruno's head." So then why are you bringing it up? Yeah, why are you complaining you. about it? I agree with um, you. The other thing was obviously on the goal where, you know, he says Ollie Watkins got in David De Gea's way. Ollie Watkins is standing offside. And the question here that referees determine is, is he interfering with the opponent? I think if he was interfering, it was absolutely minimal. minimal. It's not in his sight line. He's not stopping him from moving. And David De Gea, there's no way he's getting to the ball anyway. No. This is David De Gea we're talking about, right? I mean, it, it would take like... Courtois growing, you know, fantastic, full, Mr. Fantastic extension arms to get yeah. there. So just leave it. And this comes on the heels of him on Friday bringing up the whole thing. Well, we don't get any penalties. Ole, this is not your persona. You're not Jose. Be happy about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Right? Some people love to be on the warpath all the time. The reason people like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is because he doesn't behave that way. And so I don't want to see more of this. Just reflect on the fact that you United think he feels like this is the pressure getting to him. So he, he goes shouldn't. Into pressure the for what? You should feel pressure when your team plays badly. But it's the United, United aren't in a United bad position. Badly. They played badly on Saturday. They didn't deserve anything from that game. Even if oh, Bruno scored I that penalty. I disagree. I, 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 th I think, I think I they definitely deserved at least a point. I disagree with you. I, I really disagree. And you know what? That penalty incident, what is it? it Cristiano... Uh, it seemed that they all knew that Bruno was the penalty taker. So Cristiano goes and try his luck and say, hey, why don't you leave it to me? Yeah, he could, he could have avoided doing that. If you if, know ahead of time with the penalty If you know, players. if you know, and then that voice Paul Pogba getting involved and Emiliano Martinez coming in and all that circus. I don't know. It's just, okay, maybe I was a bit harsh. Maybe you're right. Maybe they deserve the point against Villa. I just, I still don't think he's good enough Again, with the ball, and you know, no, I, nobody's saying they're great. No, 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 no. But, but maybe uh, you make the situation the pressure, worse. Uh, in these yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.